Hey everyone, I'm Brett Evans and I'm here at the Los Angeles Auto Show, standing next to one of my most anticipated vehicles this year, the 2024 Hyundai Ioniq 6. This is the second all-electric member of the company's Ioniq family, following on the footsteps of the Ioniq 5 crossover, but as you can see, this is a much more interesting and shapely vehicle than that already bold sport utility. Now, even though this shares the same Ionic branding as the Ionic 5, the Ionic 6 is much more curvaceous and not nearly as chunky and retro styled. But at the same time, it definitely has some traditional Ionic flair in the way of the digital pixel light signature up front and then this big bulky front bumper that channels air around the vehicle for better aerodynamics. It may not be to everyone's liking, but I think it looks great. Around back is arguably the Ionic 6's most controversial angle, starting with this full-length digital pixel light bar that does look a little bit like the one on the Ionic 5, but as you can see, it's just much more drooping and curvaceous back here, which I definitely think is a good thing. My absolute favorite feature is this little ducktail spoiler that calls to mind a whale tail Porsche from the 1980s. I swear, if you put this thing and a Porsche 930 next to each other, there wouldn't be a whole lot of difference between the two. This is my first time looking at the inside of the Ionic 6, and overall, I'm pretty impressed. Now, it doesn't have the same flow-through interior design as the Ionic 5, even though it does have a flat floor, but that's totally okay by me because this center console kind of makes it feel a little more intimate and sporty, and that's a lot of fun. The design theme also is totally different from what it is in the Ionic 5. It does have this kind of conjoined split-screen setup, but otherwise, it looks much more modern and athletic in here. I really like these fins that kind of bookend either side of the dashboard, even though they're not the video monitors that other markets get instead of side view mirrors. Still though, it just feels pretty cool. Everything in here has some good texturing and some good detailing. Overall, it's just kind of an interesting and fun looking vehicle and I'm looking forward to driving it. Underneath the Ionic 6's shapely hood is not much. There is a tiny little front compartment, but it's not gonna be able to hold much more than a couple of microfiber rags at the most. And then there are a few electronics controllers for the vehicle's larger traction battery. Now on standard models, that means a 53 kilowatt hour lithium ion unit, but a 77.4 kilowatt hour unit is optional. And that gives the Ionic 6 a maximum range of 340 miles if you go for the single motor version. Go for the dual motor and that drops down to 310 miles, still a very impressive number for a commodity electric vehicle in this segment. The Hyundai Ioniq 6 launches sometime next year and although they haven't announced pricing yet, I think it'll probably be just a little bit less than the Ioniq 5 crossover. If I'm right, this could be my new favorite electric vehicle. Thanks for watching.